Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. He has made this day especially for you and for me. Therefore, we must rejoice and be glad in it. This morning, this is the second Sunday. If you have your bread and your liquid, make sure you get it. We will do the communion afterwards. Well, well today is our, if I'm not mistaken, our last lesson about the sure thing, things that are sure that God has for us. And today we can be sure of our salvation because of the finished work Jesus did for us on the cross. He died that we may have salvation. And so today, our, our lesson study is sure of salvation. Don't let anybody convince you that you can lose your salvation. Salvation is yours until eternity. You cannot lose your salvation. You can lose relationship, but you cannot lose your salvation. Once you are saved, you are saved until the day of redemption. And so it is very, very important that we get that. Uh, today's lesson, the point of our lesson is that we can be sure God saves us when we trust in Jesus. Now, that's the key. You must trust in Jesus, believe that Jesus died for your sins. And, and so that that's what happens. And then, but then if you're not saved, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, no, you will not be saved. So it is very, very important that you place all your trust and hope in Jesus Christ. We can be sure God saves us when we trust in Christ. Uh, there are three outlines. The first outline, First uh, John 5, 1 through 5. And it reads, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father also loves the one born of him. This is how we know that we love God's children. When we love God and obey his commands, for this is what love for God is, to keep his commands and his commands are not a burden because everyone who has been born of God conquers the world. This is the victory that has conquered the world, our faith. Who is the one who conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? So this tells us that, well, we can know we are born of God because Jesus is the Christ, because Jesus is the Son of God, because Jesus was our sacrifice, because he died for you and for me. Those who believe that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. When you believe that you are born again, and everyone who, who loves the Father loves the one born of him. So, so, so what that's telling us is that we know we are born of God because Jesus is the Christ. He's the one who, who died for us. He's the finished product that died for us. And so it is very, very important that we know and be sure of our salvation. So 
Uh, we are conquerors. We're more than conquerors through Christ our Lord. Uh, some, some truths that we could deal with out of 1 John 5, 1 through 5, it says, the new birth occurs when we place our trust and faith in Jesus Christ. That's the new birth, the new birth. Uh, the Holy Spirit produces a love for God and for people. We demonstrate our love for the Lord by our obedience to God and his commands. Since our Lord Jesus Christ overcame the world, we too overcome when we place our faith in him. And finally, when we place our faith in Jesus, we experience his victory over the world as our own. We can know that we are born of God because Jesus is the Christ. The second outline, 1 John 5, 11 through 13, it says, and this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this is life in his son. The one who has the son has life. And the one who does not have the son does not have life. I have written these things to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. We can know we have eternal life because God's word says it, because the word of God says that we have eternal life. The testimony, uh, and this is that what God gives us eternal life and the life of his son. We have eternal life through Jesus, the son of God. Uh, and the one who has the son has life. So, so that's the word right there. That tells us that, look, because we believe the word of God, we have eternal life through Christ. And so the, the, the testimony is eternal life. And as we, as we know that, we, we, it is very, very important for us to, to do. The lasting truths, the presence of Christ in our lives is the evidence that we have salvation. The presence of Christ in our lives. Eternal life is available only through Christ, through Jesus Christ. Eternal life is only available to, no, through nobody else. I don't care what nobody else says. Eternal life is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only. One must have a personal relationship with Christ based on faith in him. Personal relationship. We must have a personal relationship with him. And then when we believe in the name of Jesus Christ, we are born of God and become, become children of God. So, so it is very, very important for us. We can know that we have eternal life because God's word tells us so. We have eternal life because of the word of God, because of what God has done for us through Jesus Christ, he has provided us with life. Third outline, 1 John 5, 18 through 21, we know that everyone who has been born of God does not sin, but the one who is born of God keeps him and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are of God and the whole world is under the sway of the evil one. 
And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know the true one. We are in the true one that is in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Little children, guard yourselves from idols. We can know that we are saved because our lives are changed, because we have placed our hope and trust in Christ. We, we, our whole mindset has changed, and we, we, we are no longer following the, the, the evil one. We, we are following Christ because he has changed us. We know that our salvation is, we know that everyone who has been born of God does not sin, but the one who's born of God keeps him, and the evil one is trying to, so, so it, it is very, very important that because we have been born of God, born from above, born again, uh, we are saved. We know that we are saved because, again, our mindset is not the same. We, we, we don't even have the desires to do the things that we, we, we used to do. Matter of fact, that you, you, you go far away from them as you possibly can. And so it, it is very, very important that a change occurs in your life by accepting Christ, Jesus the Christ, as your Savior. Lasting truths. Christians have no reason to doubt their presence, present and future eternal life as they live in obedience to Christ, to God. We can confidently pray and follow God, knowing he hears and answers prayers we bring to him in accordance with his will. And finally, the Christian life is a victorious life. We can know that we are saved because our lives are changed. So we, that's what we can be sure of. We can be sure of our salvation, sure that, that in the day when we have to leave this place that we are going to follow Christ. We're going to be with him in, in heaven. We're going to serve him for the rest of our days. We can be sure of this thing. If we have placed our trust in Jesus Christ, we are saved. If we have placed our trust in Jesus Christ, we're saved because of what the word says. The word says we have eternal life and we are saved because we are changed. Get your get your bread, get your get your liquid, and let's pray. Father, we come now in the name of your son Jesus. Thank you. And I so God that uh, bless these elements that we have, that you will be glorified in all that is done. Lord, the bread and the wine, change it for the use that we have for. The body of Christ, eat, eat all of it. The blood of Christ, drink, drink all of it. And because of what Jesus did for us on Calvary, we are saved until the day of redemption. May God richly bless you, my beloved.